Hey guys, welcome back to the Wally Modeling Series. Lazarus here for Tuts Plus again. And in the next couple of parts, we're hopefully going to finish up this uh, connection piece where we left off last time. Uh, so we made this sort of outer shell for him. So um, I do have another reference on the side that I done. So I'll quickly show you that one working off. So I just quickly done these shots of the um, piece that I already did done before. So um, I know what I'm doing, sort of thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we first probably going to go ahead and uh, create this sort of um, shield thing that sits on the side. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and grab a pipe and drag it out just roughly the right size. Drag up some height for him and play with the thickness, that should be fine. And then we're gonna use the scale tool to go ahead and squash this a bit. And I think we're also gonna go ahead and make this a, a little bit taller. So I'm just gonna scale it up, something like that. Okay, so once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and probably squish it a little bit more. And also let's have a look in the top view to see how this is looking. So let's just go into my top view and Let's have a look. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It deforms a bit too much on this side, so I'm gonna scale it also this way. Um, but that should be fine. So let's go ahead and quickly add in the edge loops that we need. So I'm gonna tear this panel off so I can get my tools a bit easier. So let's go ahead and start adding in the edge loops that we need. So this will keep its shape. One in there. Okay, so the usual edge loop business. Let's go ahead and add one there as well. And as you can tell, I'm doing it super rough because I don't want to spend ages on adding these loops in. And, um, but you can go ahead and spend some more time, make sure that these are, um, these are placed correctly. So that we need one more in here, like so. And I think that is it. Let's go ahead and smooth this. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and place this to the right place. Let's go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees on the Z. And then with the move tool, I'm just going to hold down V and snap it to this piece. Okay, just so it gets roughly in the right place. And then we're going to have to go ahead and scale this around to make sure we get the right sort of size. So I'm going to move this up to roughly around here and I'm just looking at my reference making sure that I place it roughly in the right place. So let's go ahead and scale this up a bit more. Maybe something like that should do the trick. And width wise it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit thicker. Well if we drag it out it will be. Like so push in a bit more. Oops. Let's just select that piece move in a bit more and then scale it up. So yeah, that should be pretty good. So once we have that, we can go ahead and start working on all these inner pieces that will sort of um, connect these pieces up. Now, if you do rig them later on, this sort of setup uh, might not work properly. So you might have to make some changes to this, but um, for the time being, modeling wise, it looks pretty cool. Uh, from the practical standpoint of view, it might not work properly. So you might have to go ahead and uh, if we do rig him, we, we might have to uh, go ahead and do some changes to this piece so it actually works um, from a mechanical standpoint as well. So let's go ahead and start off with, um, with this sort of main support piece that sits here. So we're going to use uh, just a cube and just drag out a rough size for it around roughly there I'm just going to go into my side view and drag out some thickness okay that's probably a bit too thick probably somewhere around there and we're also going to go ahead and just select the main body piece and that is shell and we don't actually need that piece, so let's go ahead and just isolate these because um, this is going to sit inside there. So let's just go ahead and 
quickly um, adding the edge loops for this so this will hold its shape we don't well we don't really have to smooth this but we might as well if we already smoothed everything else and we're not too worried about the poly cap it's already going to be pretty heavy I think the final piece is around 5 million polys um, and that's I mean we haven't done all the cleanups for him so deleting the back faces that are not seen and stuff like that but it's pretty heavy already so I'm just going to add in a couple of edge loops in here as well so we don't have these long faces in here I'm just going to select this and drag it down and this will just make sure that it will smooth a little bit nicer so let's go ahead and position this in the front view so this main support seems pretty goddamn big but that's fine it's gonna turn an x-ray so I see what I'm doing a little bit better so it's probably gonna be around that thick and it's a bit too tall but it's fine now let's go ahead and rotate this uh, probably around that much and then position this somewhere along here so I'm just looking at my reference and what you got to pay attention to is um, this relationship to this corner okay so that's how I'm lining it up so this is going to have to come out a bit more there's a little bit of a gap there and okay that looks pretty much where it needs to be um, I'll probably drag down these faces a bit more somewhere around there and go ahead and smooth it okay so this is the main support piece we also gonna go ahead and isolate these and then go ahead in our side view make sure that everything is lined up so let's go ahead and drag this inside of that shell which also means we're gonna have to go ahead and just scale it down a little bit okay somewhere along there that looks good let's have a look in our perspective mode and we'll probably make this a little even more thin so somewhere along there okay so that should do it let's just have a look inside of you again make sure position this in the center you can line it up with that edge there so it's roughly in the middle okay so that's good um, let's go ahead and attach some of these uh, screws I think next or let me just think what's the best way we might make this uh, sort of shelf for him next actually let's go ahead and do that so let's come out of our isolation mode and let's go ahead and create a cube again just roughly the right size like so and then I'm gonna select both of the bottom faces and hit extrude and then come down in my offset oops make sure that slow down my slider okay so you're gonna drag it out roughly around there and hit the extrude again go to thickness push in a bit and I'm not sure if this is gonna work but let's go ahead and try to bridge and yep it didn't work so let's go ahead and just delete them two faces okay and then we're just gonna use um, you can either use the target merge vertex tool so snap them up and probably that's the easiest way let's just go ahead and do that okay and this last one we can go ahead and delete this edge okay cool so that's pretty much done um, let's go ahead and we can also go ahead and reroute this edge so it goes around but it's kind of pointless really so um, let's just go ahead and add in the edge loops for this so one on the bottom let's go add one in halfway so it will smooth a little bit better okay so it's good let's go ahead and add these on the top and the reason why I said we can reroute this because if you if I just undo this if you add in a loop here as you can tell we're gonna have to add a loop on every corner as well as this bit so that's why it's a little bit of a pain 
to add in the edge loops for a shape like this where the edge loop don't go around this way but it doesn't really matter in this case so let's just go ahead and do it this way okay so let's go ahead and add in these in loops as well one halfway and one on the bottom okay so that's pretty good and now let's go ahead and add these on the bottom and this should hold its shape pretty well let's go ahead and smooth it see what it looks like and just turn off that wireframe okay that looks pretty good let's go ahead and try to put this to the right place again I'm just going to hold down double view and snap it probably to that, that worked up there and then drag it on the side and obviously this will need a lot of scaling but that's fine let's go ahead and scale it down drag it down here make sure that this will sort of cover this bit up and I had a look at the real Wally he doesn't actually have this piece this is just sort of like a way of covering this up um, but in the real Wally as far as I uh, could tell um, this sort of bar that extends up and down, we're sort of going to cheat this um, but in him he basically have a gap in here so imagine having two edge loops here and here and then this face is pushed inside his body um, and that's where this sort of bar sits and moves okay for us we're just sort of going to cheat it and um, if you open the door it is see through so we're sort of going to have to be careful that this doesn't penetrate too much inside of the body so if I just if I just turn this on and um, go into my vertex mode in this we can always um, drag these down so it doesn't penetrate as much so this is the sort of shell that we have so I can always just grab these as well and push them down like so and when we do, if we do rig him later, we can always cheat this um, in a way or redo it in a different way, okay? Like so. And now if we open the door, that piece is not seen, okay? Cool, so that's roughly the right place now. Let's go ahead and push it back a bit more, like so. Okay, so that looks pretty cool, okay. So let's go ahead and quickly add a couple of these um, sort of screw things that will hold the supporting bars for this main piece. Let's go ahead and do that. And I think we actually, I've done it a different way last time, but um, we're gonna do it sort of easier way this time. Um, I'm actually just gonna use one sort of cylinder for this. Um, so let's go ahead and add one roughly in the center of this and it's not as big as the reference as you can tell I'm making it a lot smaller and then let's go ahead and give this some height if it would work it doesn't want to work so let's go ahead and extrude it and that doesn't want to work either so let me just go ahead and delete this and make a new one in my front view let's just drag one out roughly that big and hopefully it go at height this time, there we go. So again, I'm gonna go ahead in my side view and try to position this in the center. So I'm gonna select that cylinder that we just made and that pipe and then isolate them. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the center. And then if I go into my inputs, I can give it some extra height like so. Okay, so let's see how this is looking now. Turn off X ray and don't need it that thick. I mean, there will be a sort of bar sitting on this, but we still don't need it this big. So I'm just going to turn it down roughly around there, and we can always go ahead and play around with this later. So let's go ahead and isolate this and quickly add in all the loops that we need. <coughs> so let's go ahead and select these faces, extrude scale in. Oh, actually you can go ahead and do that with the offset easier. So let's go ahead and give it an offset. Okay, that should do it. And now let's go ahead and insert the loops. 
I had one halfway as well, so I don't have these long faces. I haven't been doing it in the um, other parts, but it's mainly just because I've forgotten to do them. Uh, I did do them on some of the pieces, but it doesn't really make too much difference. It will just um, give us a better smooth. So yeah, that's all good to go. Uh, if you want, you can add extra detail to this. I'm just going to leave this one as it is for now. I mean, it, it hardly ever gets seen uh, if you've seen the final renders that I've done off him. So we don't have to go super, super crazy on these pieces, really. So now I'm just going to go ahead and actually I'm going to go ahead and scale this one down a little bit more, a little bit smaller, and then duplicate it and drag one down here in the center of this. And this one is actually going to be a tiny bit bigger. So scale that one up. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this one more time. There will be one sitting in this. And it's actually in the center of this bar so it's not where it references and it's also going to be a lot smaller somewhere around there and duplicate one more time and there'll be one sitting down here as well and it's even smaller and actually I think this is that small as well so let's go and duplicate this move it up and we'll have to give it uh, we'll have to make these a bit longer okay so it's pretty good uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this one and move it roughly around here. And let's go ahead and sort out the height for these. Okay, so obviously this one's a bit too long, so let's go ahead and scale this in. And don't forget to leave enough gap that when we um, join these up, uh, it will look good. Okay, so I'm just looking at my reference. This one actually needs to be quite long. We'll leave that one as it is. Uh, we'll leave that one as it is. And let's go ahead and sort out these ones. So let's go ahead and scale this one out. Roughly there. Just so we see that it's there. And then we'll play around with the right size of it later. Okay. So we got those sort of caps in there. And now we just got to do the... Um, the bar that sort of joins these up, okay? And there's quite a lot of them down here as well. And up here as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and before we dive into that, let's go ahead and finish the inner part of this. Um, so we're just gonna borrow one of these cylinders from here again and drag it up. So there'll be two of these. Again, this piece is sort of cheated in a way that um, it might not actually work in real life. Well, most likely it wouldn't work in real life, but we can cheat things like that in CG, so it doesn't really matter, unless you wanna go super crazy about this. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have two of these sitting, there'll be one here on the top half, and then there'll be one on the bottom half, okay? And then there will be a bigger cylinder, so duplicate this one and rotate this 90 degrees. And let's go ahead and scale this up and then scale it in this direction, move it down, inside. Okay, so basically this is what this looks like. Let's go ahead and in my top view, I just want to go ahead and make sure that it's positioned correctly or somewhat correctly. Let's go ahead and turn on my X-ray. If I find it, there we go. Right. So let's go ahead and also move these ones into the center-ish. Okay, and that one. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and scale this up a bit more. And then have a look in my side view, make sure that it's not sticking out anywhere and that it's in the right place in my side view as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn off my X-ray. And this is sticking out. So I'm just going to go to Vertex, unsmooth it, and then just drag these in a tad. Okay, and let's just check the other bits. Okay, so it's all good. So basically, the way this would work 
is let me just come out and explain my thought process behind it. I didn't really put a lot of thought behind this, but I thought this way it might work quite well. So basically there, there, there is an arm, this joint piece is connected to that in here. Okay. And then this one is connected up there. That one is connected up there. So basically this cylinder will sort of rotate this way and that will allow this whole thread to tilt. Okay. And these could rotate, I guess, up and down um, to make the whole thread rotate that way. Okay. So basically that's the plan, but it might not work. So we might have to change it around, but modeling sake, it looks cool. So that's what matters. So we're going to wrap this one up here and we're going to go ahead in the next part. We're going to go ahead and create these um, joint things for the thread and then the thread will be completed. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next part and thanks for watching.